Well, the, the first half was really pleasing, gave us the bedrock for, for the victory of course. Uh, second half we didn't start how we spoke about half time, we were um, giving away a penalty, got marked to the field a little bit. Obviously then though to deal with the adversity, uh, the resilience that we needed to come through when we're down to 13 men, never mind 14, uh, was outstanding. And to manage the field the way that Danny did and Marcus did, I think both the halfbacks were exceptional, Scott Steele when he came on was exceptional. And uh, we managed to spend enough time down there third. Um, the last 12 minutes was a little bit like deja vu against Exeter. And something that we have to look at and some of the players spoke themselves about uh, at the end of the game. Look, I think we've said lots of times, the, the, club, the club, never mind the team, is all moving in the right direction. I think over the last two, three years we've shown progression. Um, we haven't always got the results that we wanted, of course, uh, but we're working unbelievably hard. We're trying to change lots of things. Uh, we're trying to be more consistent and uh, more competitive on a continual basis. Uh, we've dealt with serious injuries last year. Uh, we've dealt with the turnover of the squads and, and the new players coming in and integration of new players. Uh, we've, we've unearthed some young stars, if you like, as well. And we've got uh, some guys that are a little bit older that are playing exceptional football. And uh, the balance of the team is really nice. And uh, the way that we're trying to control the field is really good at the moment. And Marcus is developing. You know, immeasurably in that area and uh, we're seeing the reward because we've got some talented players that can do some special things uh, but rugby doesn't change too much. If your defence is decent, your set piece is good, your kicking game is good uh, then the attack will follow. Two tries from your captain Alex Donbrandt today, how do you feel he's settling into that leadership role? Really well and, and uh, we spoke after the game and a quick debrief with him, a hot debrief if you like about the things that he wanted to say uh, post the game and decided he wanted to bring it in rather than talking on, on the field which is great, and um, we spoke about the things that I felt, he mirrored them and he wanted to take the meeting post-game, which was exceptional. And, you know, I thought he spoke so well, so clearly the boys responded to it. And uh, what I like is that we've got a bonus point win on the road, back-to-back uh, -back away wins, and uh, you know, we weren't happy with it because we allow the team to come back into it and almost such a bonus point. And um, you know, our aspirations of our performance are better than that. So I was really pleased with the way that he spoke. Conversely, Chris Ashton's probably not so pleased because he's getting closer and closer to try scoring records and uh, Dom isn't passing the ball in his second try, so Ashley might be having a word. But we've got, got nine players under 23, I think, I think they're four or three or four. So it's important that you continue developing players because there's always a natural evolution of, of rugby. And, uh, but you also, need, you also need the experienced players that have been there, seen that, done it, worn the t-shirt. And we mentioned against Northampton, there's not many players that have worn a bigger t-shirt or better t-shirt than Danny Kerr and Mike Brown. And yeah, again, I thought today Danny was exceptional. Um, you know, he's always been revered, probably for the last 15 years, and rightly so, as the best running halfback in England. Um, but that's probably doing him a huge disservice, the quality of his kicking game. Um, you know, he's an incredibly talented kid, as we know. Uh, and we've seen in the last two, three weeks, the accuracy and uh, the consistency of his kicks have been superb. So really pleased with his form, and as I said, really pleased with the development of Marcus outside as well.